Hello, and welcome to Connecting Hawaii Business on Think Tech Hawaii. My name is Kathleen Lee, and I am your host for this program. Today, I am excited to meet one of the two co-owners of Shutterhouse, Megan David. Megan, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you so much for having me. And thank you for being on. Tell our viewers about yourself. Yeah, so I'm Megan David. I was born and raised here in Oahu, Hawaii. Um, I actually, so currently I am a photographer. I specialize in couples and weddings. Um, I also do branding and businesses uh, and a special events. I just like keep thinking of different things that I've been doing lately. Um, but I specialize in a lot of different things um, for photography. And my co-host is Chris Bamba. Uh, they are a videographer and um, we're just like this duo, this media team duo that our paths crossed. We became really good friends, now business partners and open up a studio. Um, but honestly, my background, I was actually uh, going to school, going to college for political science to become a lawyer. Um, I always thought I wanted to be a lawyer. I was either doctor or lawyer for my for me and my family, honestly. And then um, I just quick wasn't the path for me. Um, worked in a corporate job for a little bit, found photography, and then ever since December of 2021, I stepped away from my job and became a full time creative. I love that. I and and I have that in common with you as well. I had the same major in college, the same yeah. dream too, right? Really? Like, hey, we are going to be lawyers. And yep. We are not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but it's but everything it's happens for a reason, right? So yeah. here you are now, an entrepreneur with Shutter House Hawaii. Let's go to that. Um, tell us about Shutter House. How did you come up with the name? Yes. So it's actually kind of funny because Chris and I were going back and forth on what should we name our studio? Um, and we came up with all these different ideas and then we wanted it to have something to do with creativity of how we're both photo and video. So shutter, shutter speed is a very important component of how you shoot. And then we are so heavily all about community and making sure everyone feels welcomed and like it's a home. So that came the word house but spelled H-A-U-S, which I believe is the German spelling of home or house. Yeah, I think that's cool. So typically when people start a business, it comes from uh, identifying a need either in the community that they live in or they want to solve a problem. What was it that made you and Chris go, hey, we need, or Hawaii needs another studio, another photo studio? Yeah. Well, we do recognize that there are a lot of really amazing studios around the islands um, that all have their own creative flair and own, own things that they bring to the table. And so we, we definitely did our research and we definitely respect and we are very close friends with actually a lot of other studio owners. So we didn't want to step on toes, right? But for us, we were like, how can we fill a need here in Hawaii? And something Chris and I always joked about when whenever we're together is like, we should have our own podcast. Like we're, we, we think we're so funny, right? And that, but every friend group does. We're like, we should have our own podcast. Like, is there a rental studio just for podcasting or a place where we can record a YouTube video? Um, Hawaii has a lot of great backgrounds and sceneries to offer, but is there a place that offers and provides all that equipment that we would need in order to film something like that, that kind of content, other than just photo and a traditional video? And so that's where we kind of found our niche and we're like, we should be not just a photo video studio, but also offer all of these um, studio rental equipment that people can learn and play with and create their own short and long form of content. I, you know, I did not even know that. I know, like, yeah. you guys have uh, so far branded yourself as a luxury um, one-stop shop for photo and video. And that podcast recording aspect, you're right. It sets you apart from, yeah. you know, already existing studios. So um, tell me more about the current clientele that you guys are working with. So you guys opened in 
July, right? Very July recent. July 22nd. Yes, that was super recent. We got the keys on June 1st. Um, and it's funny because we actually only found out we got the lease like three days prior. And then we we're like, okay, let's set a grand opening date. And a span of over a month and a half, a little bit over, we opened and we completely transformed this space. Um, we're open to other photographers and other creatives who want to create their own content here in a studio setting um, with studio lighting or any other. We have mics available for people to rent out, headphones, the whole nine yards. Um, but we've also actually been having a lot of businesses contact us to shoot their uh, their branding, their businesses, upcoming events um, that want photo and video um, promotional, I guess, packages. And so they use Chris and I um, for photo and video or even our studio manager, Devin. Um, he's actual, actually both photo and video. He specializes in both. And so what's great is that you can bring in your own photographer and videographer if you'd like. We're totally welcome to that. That was the point of Shutterhouse. But you can also um, use us in-house. So it's really the best of both worlds. I think that is so awesome. Yeah. Since um, since starting at, in July, and I'm going to attempt to remember my question. So <laughs> since starting... In July, what are some challenges um, or some unexpected things that you and Chris might have um, already ran into in starting a business, especially here in Hawaii? Yeah, I think um, one of the challenges, it's, it's very, it's not very, it is different from just being your own photographer, own videographer. We have separate photo video businesses. Um, and then to have, and you can just operate that from home, right? You can just go home, do emails whenever, do your shoots whenever, go home, whatever. Um, but here it's a physical space uh, that is completely different. Um, and we love it. We love the different challenge, the different kind of obstacles that come with it is really interesting. Um, but what's been really helpful is having a team. And we actually have a, our studio manager, like I mentioned, Devin, and a social media or director of marketing, we like to call her, um, Naya. And so the four of us have really leaned on each other during this time of learning how to operate, how to make this a successful studio and have really cool projects that we're working on too. But we all bring something to the table and work really well together. Um, so I think that's been the biggest blessing is just to have those people in our corner. Um, and honestly, all the obstacles, they just seem like little road bumps because we're just like, okay, how do we solve it and move on and move forward and be better? I, I love that. Um, you also mentioned earlier that you wanted this space to be more for the community. Could you expand on that? Yes. Uh, so we actually, well, okay, let me step back. Where that comes from is that we're really true believers of community over competition. Um, you know, from personal experience, Per, uh, professional experience, we just really appreciate the people who have been in our corner because we really recognize that we wouldn't be where we are today if it weren't for the people in our corner, for the people who believed in us, for the people who really invested their time into helping us get to where we are. So that's really why we focus on community and giving back because we want it to be a pay it forward kind of method. Um, so for us, it's one, providing a space. Two, we're also working on upcoming workshops that we're bringing other local creatives or local businesses um, into Shutterhouse to host workshops for the public where they can come and learn. I know there's a leather maker right down the road from us, so creative and so different, or even like mini photo and video workshops or anything that we can provide. We just really want to bring other community members into um, this space and to offer it to everyone else. And so we're also looking to pair up with other businesses and other um, organizations to help and promote, for example, like the um, the Maui wildfires. Uh, we are currently in the works of uh, putting together a project to help 
donate and still provide aid to the families in Maui and the community there. So um, that's just one of the projects that we're working on. Oh, that's amazing. Um, what are some other projects that you're able to talk about uh, mm -hmm. that you folks are working on? Oh, what am I allowed to talk about? <laughs> Let's well, talk about the most recent one that you had mentioned right before the show started. Oh, yes. So we just partnered with Hawaii Swim Show, and that was such an exciting project. Hawaii Swim Show taking place on the Big Island. Um, Chris was able to actually go and help with coverage there. Um, but for Hawaii Swim Show, we were able to have uh, some of the models actually come in and some of the artists or the bikini makers, they sent um, some pieces in. And so we were able to get creative. We did a whole setup um, of like a white fabric backdrop. We got fake sand and just like, like pounds of fake sand. And we just made it right here in house. Um, and it was quite a show, quite a project, but so many hands that were in it that made it happen. Um, so that was one of the big things that we worked on of just like two full days of content, photo, video. So everything you see on our Instagram regarding that, that was in a two days work, actually more behind the scenes, but two days of actual shooting. That is amazing. <laughs> so as far as the business being open for a couple of months now and the expectations that you had in the beginning, have they changed? Are they being reinforced? Like, what is what have you gathered so far with the business being open since July? Um, I would like to say that it's gone in a direction that I didn't expect, but in a great way. Um, and that's, again, really a testament to the teamwork here. Like Naya, she is really the one who created the Hawaii Swim Show connection um, with those business partners and those models and makeup artists that were a part of it. And um, the owners of Hawaii Swim Show, just everybody, she's the one who gathered, brought that idea to the team and really helped to make it happen. And then uh Devin you know coming in with his ideas too and his creativity and seeing his own photo business blossom is incredible and so that's just some of the serendipities that we didn't expect um just how much of a family it's been it's created and how all these ideas have come together and how we all bring our strengths to the table and the weaknesses we don't look at it we we're just like where can we fill in the gap for one another and so I think that's one of the things that I didn't expect coming into Shutter House. I just expected like, okay, it's all on us. This is it. And it is on us still as a business owner, right? But just how much of a support we've had from the community and our own team. That is absolutely awesome. And I'm excited to hopefully be able to drop in your studio sometime yes. soon. Well, Please. is there a particular? Yeah, I will. Is there a particular reason that you folks pick Chinatown for your location for the physical studio? Yes. And so that, it was all by chance. I also hope you know that Chris and I never imagined that we wanted this. We were never like, you know, one day, let's start a studio. No, never. That was never a thought for either of us. Um, it's actually Aloha Paradise Studio. I don't know about if you know about them. They're the ones who have a, a beautiful outdoor studio with the flower tub. And then they also have another studio in the same building in Chinatown, a few doors down from us. I think they're in there right now. Um, a beautiful boho-esque indoor studio as well. So they have two locations. Very close with them, Mai and Chucky. They're actually the reason why Chris and I actually met in the first place and then um we were having dinner all together one day and they were like hey there's a studio opening up next door to us you guys should take a look and we we're like mm, i don't know i don't know and uh long story short we ended up seeing it we fell in love we applied and that's how it came to be so really not only the chinatown aspect but just the idea in and of itself was not even a thought three months ago. Isn't that funny how things can change like so in fun. a span of like two to three months? I think that yeah. it's, it's amazing. And you seem very passionate about this. 
Um, yeah. Let me go back to the why. Why are you so passionate about when, you know, photography and, and capturing all these moments? And also, why are you so passionate about this business? Yeah, so for, for photography, um, I think my passion has definitely grown uh, so much since being full time for almost two years now or over two years, sorry, over two years. Um, I think it started when I was very uncomfortable in front of the camera. Um, actually, I had my graduate, my high school graduation photos done. Um, I don't remember who, and I, it's not to put anyone down, but I don't even remember who it was. Um, I think my mom just randomly hired someone. And we were around Chinatown, actually. That's crazy. It's, it was around Chinatown. We did our photo shoot. And I'm so awkward. I need a lot of guidance, but he wouldn't guide me. And so I just would put my hands on my hips. I would just, I don't know. Like, I'm not even trying to be modest. I legit did not know what to do. And he just like put his camera down and was like, you're not very photogenic. And as a high schooler, like a lot of emotions. And as a girl, like that's kind of harsh to hear. And that just always rang in my head anytime I would take photos in the future. And so what I found is that starting photography, a lot of people feel the same way. Like, I'm not confident. I don't look good. I'm not a picture person, all these things. Most people feel that way. And so when I would work with them, because I could feel that empathy and I could feel like their, um, their insecurities and really resonate with that. I think that's what made me so passionate because I worked so hard to make sure my clients never feel that way. I want them to feel beautiful. I want them to feel good. I want them to feel, dang, I do look good on camera. I just needed a little help. And so, and when I hear people feel that way when they walk away or they're like, wow, that wasn't at all bad like I thought it was going to be, um, that makes me feel so fulfilled. And so just paying it forward in that way. And then for the studio, I think for the passion that came behind that was for sure for both Chris and I was just like, wow, you know, my and Chucky, Aloha Paradise Studio, they really believe in us. We wouldn't be where we are today if it weren't for them. We have this whole family and all of our friends really supporting us too. You know, like, let's see where we can go with this. And then just the amount of support that has been so passion, like has driven our passion even more so. And just seeing how, what we can even create. And we haven't even like really done much yet, but just seeing the potential has like really sparked this new creativity in us that we're really excited for. I love how you went over that because I, I feel the same way. I can totally relate to yeah. feeling uncomfortable in photo shoots and not knowing how to like pose or yep. look a certain way in front of the camera. So it's always reassuring to know that the photographer or whoever the artist is behind the camera can guide people to do that. So mm -hmm. I appreciate that you guys are out there doing that. Of course. Um, on that note, can you walk us through um, a client experience? So like, where does one start and then how do we go about from there? So let's take an example of someone wanting to take um, photos for a branding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if they wanna do photos for their own business or for branding of any kind, um, they can just either email us at shutterhousehawaii at gmail.com um, and our studio manager will work out the details with you. Let us know if you want to work with specifically Chris and or myself. Um, or if you're going to bring your own photo video, uh, that's totally fine as well. Of course, that's really welcomed. Um, and so they would just email there. If they want to work with me specifically, they can contact me on my website at mdeephotos with an S at the end, dot com, um, and complete my contact form. And that's the best way to get in touch with me. And then Chris as well has their own website too, um, which is on linked in their Instagram, uh, studiorise.co. Uh, so there's so many different ways to get in touch with us, but we're also open to like reaching out to us on DM and we can kind of guide you guys from there of how to book and see how we can collaborate together. 
And you are very responsive. Thank you. That's how that's how we got you on the show today. Yes. Thank you. We're Amy. very responsive. We are definitely on it because we know that like, you know, time is ticking. So we want to be very respectful of everyone's time. Thanks. What are some lessons that you have learned so far in opening a shutter house? Mm, time management. Time management is a big one uh, of just like, okay, you know, when you run a business, it's on your mind 24 7 24 7 even when you're not physically in a space you're like thinking okay what's next it's not I don't care what happened today I care you know we're great awesome um but whatever happened yesterday or today is in the past what's going on tomorrow what's happening four months from today one year what's the next you're gonna look like and so just trying to learn how to time manage like when I'm in the studio learning to let go because we have a team and to be like okay you can take care of the emails okay that's here you go you know and it's okay Megan they're gonna do a good job and just letting that go um but they're they've been amazing our team is amazing so just myself like letting go um and then also like mentally knowing when to switch from me and my family and our time to business and then now to my own photography business just like the different aspects of it the different buckets in my life just knowing when to be present and everything like that I think those are good reminders for people who are watching out there who may want to launch into um, a business like you have is there anything else that you would like to add that I may not have gone over about this studio or yourself or Chris that you would like everyone out there to know? No, I mean, I think we went over a good amount. I think um, I get, I do get asked this a lot of people thinking of opening up a business because when they hear like, oh, you have a business, I've been thinking about this, this, and this, you know, for this long. And um, I think the number one thing I tell people is like, go for it. Go definitely work out the logistics, but don't be so scared to start because you need to start somewhere. It's not an overnight success. It's not gonna like always pick up traction right off the bat, but that's when you get gritty. That's when you dig deep and you just have a no matter what attitude. Like it's gonna get done no matter what. Um, Because I, I, it's so sad to me when people are like, I have this great idea, but I'm too scared. You don't think I was scared? I was so scared. <laughs> Chris and I are like constantly like, like, what are we doing? Like, <laughs> what are, are we doing this right? What did we get ourselves into? But it's like getting past that barrier and just being like, our backs are to the wall. We're going to make it work. There's no back door. This needs to happen. We're going to do whatever it takes in order to succeed. And so I think that's just what I really want to like leave with people if they're watching. Like, just go for it. Everyone's scared. There's always going to be that little voice. It's, I still have it, but it's about moving past it and just overcoming and getting gritty and digging deep. I love that. That is awesome. <laughs> Thank you for that reminder. And so sure. for people like myself who have yet to visit your studio, could you give us an idea of where in Chinatown it is? Yes. So we are right above Olay's Thai Lao Cuisine in Chinatown, right across from the uh, little police department and our door is right by HK Cafe. Um, So just like really in the heart of Chinatown. Um, If you're ever interested in stopping by, just send us a DM or email us anytime. And we're welcome to even just give tours and show you around the place. Um, and just show you what our studio has to offer. You don't even have to do anything that day. If you just want to come and stop by, we're more than happy to have anyone and everyone come through. I think I will likely do that. You yes. mentioned this earlier already. How do people get a hold of you guys? Contact info. Yes. So they can email us at shutterhousehawaii at gmail.com. Um, and just remember, house is spelled H A U S. Um, or they can DM us on Instagram. We're very responsive there. So those are the two methods to get a hold of us at this time. And you guys are at Shutterhouse Hawaii on Instagram. Did I get that right? Yes, at Shutterhouse Hawaii. Yeah. 
Yep, that's correct. <laughs> hey, awesome. Megan, thank you so much for being on the show today. Really, really appreciate mm -hmm. you telling us more about your passion in, um, and how you and Chris started Shutter House. So again, we're very appreciative of you talking to us. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Of course. And thank you to the folks at Think Tech Hawaii as well for making shows like this possible. Thank you to Jay Fidel and the people who helped us out. We had Haley and Mike. Until next time, aloha. <laughs>